Hi everybody, this is Jim with Awesome, and today I want to show you how and why we clean our cartridges uh, from our hot tub. So I use Awesome Hot Tub Filter Cleaner simply because it's the best product out there. Um, and normally I have five buckets lined up here because I've got five filter cartridges, just, but to make it simple and easy, I'm just going to do one. Now what I do is measure it out. I've already got it measured out in here, and I'll have the camera come in close here in a second. But you're going to put in two level teaspoons of Awesome Filter Cleaner into a bucket with approximately four or five gallons of water. And then the gel <coughs> will dissolve. The water's gotta be nice and warm. The gel will dissolve and you'll see that if you just swish it around a little bit, it'll foam up just like when you're putting awesome in your hot tub. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab one of my filter cartridges. And they all need to be clean, so it really doesn't matter which one I pull. We'll just take one of them here. We'll pull this out and all we do, now you see how dirty that filter cartridge is. That's pretty nasty. We'll just go ahead and set that right into the bucket, swish it around a little bit. And then what we do is we let that sit for about 20, maybe 30 minutes, depending on um, how bad or, or your filter cartridge might be. Now the key here is that a clean filter cartridge is gonna help your water immensely in your tub. You can put all the chemicals you want in there, but if your filter cartridges are dirty, you're never gonna get that right balance, that, that filtration of the water to make everything nice and clean and clear. Now, a lot of people will just go and spray down the spray down your filter cartridge with a garden hose. That's fine. And that, that gets a lot of the gunk and grime and, and the stuff that you physically and visibly can see in the cartridge out of there. However, what you don't see are all the, the microscopic bacteria particles that simply won't get released with a garden hose. Getting it into the awesome filter cleaner, letting it sit there for 20 or 30 minutes, and then spray it down with the garden hose, now you're gonna get all of those nasties that you can't see in the filter cartridge out. Then you put it back in your hot tub, you're gonna have a better hot tub experience because of it. We're gonna come back in about 20, 30 minutes, and we'll rinse off the cartridge and we'll show you exactly how this works. Okay, so we've had the filter cartridge sitting for actually about 25 minutes now because I got caught doing something else that I needed to get done. So 25 minutes, not that big of a deal. All as we do from this point here is pull it out. Now you'll notice when you pull the filter cartridge out of the bucket of Awesome, it's still pretty brown. That's okay. We're gonna slide this over here. All as we do now is take our garden hose Put it on the jet setting, and then we start spraying. Now, see all that coming out? I don't know if you could, the camera picks it all up, but down here at the bottom, you'll see it looks like it's clear water, but it's not. It's brown, ugly water coming out of there. And all of the stuff, which, you know, the, the hard stuff, the stuff that's discoloring it, we, that would have come off with the garden hose no matter what. But the goal here is to get all of the bacteria out of that filter cartridge. Doesn't take all that long. You can see it right there. Again, might be hard for the camera to pick up. But you can see that nasty water coming out of the bottom of the filter cartridge there. And that right there, my friends, is bacteria, fungus, everything that you don't want in your hot tub. So by cleaning your filter cartridges off regularly, especially with a good filter cleaner, like Awesome, you're going to extend the life of your water, you're going to extend the life of your filter cartridge, which is extremely important, especially nowadays. Filter cartridges have gotten a little bit pricier, if you can even find them. Uh, so this is an all around good thing. My recommendation is to give your filter cartridges a good deep clean every 30 to 45 days and in between. You can rinse them off with the garden hose, that's fine, but absolutely get a deep clean, and I do highly recommend using the Awesome Filter Cleaner. It's inexpensive. That little jar will last the average homeowner a year to a year and a half to get these filters nice and clean and healthy and safe, and then you put them right back into your hot tub and your water's good to go. This is Jim with Awesome. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call or contact us. Our numbers and our email addresses are all on our website. Have a great day, everybody.